Hi, I'm Claire Pollard and this is The Untamables. Welcome to Camelot, the home of King Arthur. Yes, it's real. I know it's hard to imagine after so many years, so many losses, but it's important to try. Come, let me show you. This is a land where there's still enchantment, before the forest was raised, before the extinctions. The deep green woodland is lit by primroses and bluebells in the spring, and in autumn berries roll on the floor like spilt beads. Red deer munch, beavers build their dams and bears nap. At night, howls make the canopy shiver. Look at the dragon in its nest, its scales and sharp bone wings. A baby eats a morsel of regurgitated mouse from its beak. You think it impossible, but when they existed, they were no more impossible than the lynx or grass snake. They were everyday creatures. A boggart giggles as she curdles milk. A griffin carefully scrapes a burrow into the cliff with her paws and squats on it to lay eggs. A fairy in a gossamer dress trips over a toadstool. A green-skinned giant pulls on his muddy boots. And look, in the heart of all this wonder and wildness, at the castle of Camelot, it's pale tall walls cut with narrow slits for arrows, its deep moat and drawbridge and many guards, its defences of catapults and cauldrons of boiling oil. Inside are men who hate this land and will in time destroy it, who only trust what they can conquer, rule and own. They sit in the great hall around a round table and every chair says something on it like strongest knight or world's best knight or cleverest knight in glowing golden letters and they eat meat drink wine out of jeweled goblets and bray about what heroes they are here's to another dead traitor they like to toast about whoever didn't agree with them that week perhaps you're thinking hang on i thought those knights of the round table were nice guys you think you've heard stories like this before, but the truth is, you haven't. <laughs>